Happy day three of Stitch Miss Friends. My name is Carrie. This is Tiger Lily Designs. Welcome to day three of the 12 days of Stitch Miss. Are you excited? Are you having fun? Happy Saturday to ya. So today we're going to, oh God, goodness, as I always do, I'm super excited to share our fully finished and our two featured businesses today. So we're going to dive right into the fun. So first we're going to start off with the fully finished. And if you have been with me for a while, you saw this piece in stitching. I've been stitching it this recently. It's got a little bit of a story and hey, maybe it's fun to share. So I've got this in a sweet little Tiger Lily cross stitch bag, vintage stitching bag, and then my bag. So let's, do you remember what's in here? Let me show you friends. Okay. So like I said, we've been talking about this a while on Floss Tube, but let's tell a little bit of story here on Stitch Miss because it's fun. So remember, Everybody knows the Prairie School. The Prairie School or Santa's 12 Days of Christmas. Now, I'm a 12 Days of Christmas junkie in the ornament scheme. I don't have a full set yet. One day, I hope to have multiple sets of ornaments in the 12 Days because I think it's super fun. Obviously, love 12 Days of Stitch Miss. That's why I'm here with our 12 Days of Giveaways. Remember? So exciting. Okay. So remember, I showed you guys this one a while ago. Who knows when? And I did it in the traditional... Um, Prairie Schooler called for DMC, gorgeous, on the 12 count, or not 12 count, goodness, that would be huge. This is 20 count vintage country mocha, right? And obviously it's not done. This is not the fully finished for today. So this is the one that we started and we talked about it, I'm going to say summertime, fall time, a while ago. And we talked and you guys encouraged me as I'm an artifil artisan to go ahead and just make it my own if I'm going to stitch. I have all 12 days, right? So if I'm going to stitch the 12 days of Christmas, it better be in colors that I love because that's quite the time commitment. So in true Tiger Lily fashion, I did a full color conversion. Now, let me show you the yummy colors. I know this is not the best way to show you, and I, I promise I will have. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to link down below a blog post. I'm going to write a blog post about this, giving you guys the details and all the color conversions and what I did. So I switched. I color. And there goes one. I changed them all to RFL floss. Now, RFL thread, it is not floss. So just in case this is your first time here, this is not the floss. Now RFL has all kinds of different thread weights. We're not gonna do the thread weight calculation, education, we did that in a couple floss tubes ago. But instead of the floss, which is six stranded floss, which is very similar to a DMC, and the overdyes and all the things that we're familiar with, right, in the stitching world. Instead, I did the 12 weight. And again, we're not going to have the whole education again. But I color converted and pulled. This is the 12 weight thread from RFL. So it pulls right off the spool and stitches up on this. Let's see what I'm using because I don't want to. Yep. Okay. I'm using a 16 count white chocolate. You can tell I got this from one, two, three stitch a while ago. So we had the conversation also about 14 count, 16 count, 18 count, 20 count, all the different eight um, off the bolt from the manufacturer, which is this one versus hand dyed, which is the other one. And so I had a little bit of a trial and error testing, which one I found, which one worked best. This is where I ended up and I'm super excited about the coverage. So I'm using one strand of the RFL thread in 12 weight on this 16 count. Okay. So I just want to give you a little bit of backstory before I showed you the fully finished. Let me put this away so I don't have more things fall on the floor. And I've got a sweet little, so I finished him. Oh, it makes me want to do, like sit here and stitch all the other 12 days. Do you love him? Oh my gosh. I am so in love with him. Now, of course, I did day four because um, I had day one done, kind of half done in that DMC. And four was just the one that spoke to me with the blue birds. I love him. Let me... I know it's a rainy day, so I have to turn on my ring light here today. So I'm not really loving the colors, but you can see it's just so much brighter. And that's what I am. I'm a bright, bright in your, not in your face, but bright, fun, colorful. I love all the things. That, is, that doesn't do anything. Anyway, so it's much brighter. And I finished this as my, I did an ornament finishing tutorial kind of alive with me. Um, very similar in style, but instead of 
putting the board on top, kind of like what I did with Mrs. Claus. Did you see her yesterday? I sandwiched two boards that were the same size together. And then I used my fancy Krynic cord maker. It's not that fancy. But I used the cord maker to make myself some cording. Um, I did use DMC because I wanted the six stranded cord. So I did go to my DMC stash and pull a DMC that I thought would work best and, and kind of play nice with it. I made myself a cord. This is um, two strands of every, of the two strands of green and two strands of red doing the cord. Do you know how to make the cord? There's lots of YouTube videos how to make the cord. It's super easy. I had to teach myself. But then on the back, I... That's how I finished it. I added a little jingle bells and then I've got my little 2020 charm on it and I'll put my tiger lily tag on the back. But that is my sweet little day four prairie schooler 12 days of Christmas Santa using the RFL floss, RFL thread, not floss, 12 weight on the 16 count. And I love this. Like this, if I had all 12 of them, this would be like heirloom. Like one of my kids. Well, maybe they won't, but I will appreciate gifting them and putting them on the tree. That's my favorite. And I love how this finish worked out with the cording and the finish. And it's a lot easier than doing the pillow finish. I was going to make them one of those pillow finishes, but you know what? Sometimes done is better than perfect. And I kind of think this is perfect anyway. Anyway, so that is the fully finished for today. Super fun. I hope that you enjoyed that. Maybe you got inspired. Like I said, I will click the link down below to my blog post. It'll be up later on this afternoon. Um, just giving you the details on all of my color conversion in case you want, in case you need to like get that started too. Now, before I forget, um, Today's word of the day is jingle. Remember, have you got your crossword puzzle? If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to day one. I'll give you the details of what this is all about. But the day one, day three word. So day three is eight down, eight across. I was like, oh, that's not enough letters. Eight across, jingle. That's today's word. So you're gonna use that both in your crossword puzzle as well as in the comments down below. Remember, if you want to win today's daily giveaways from our fantastically generous small businesses. Speaking of small businesses, let's dig right in, shall we? So the first one I'm going to do is we're going to cut away and I'm gonna give you the snippet of the cross stitch pattern designer. The name of the business is Chickadee Needle Arts and it's a Etsy shop with PDF charts. Now I don't have anything stitched up to show you, but we're gonna go ahead and walk through her Etsy shop together. Today's featured cross stitch designer is an Etsy shop. Her name is Allie and her business is called Chickadee Needlework. Adorable. So let, first, let's talk about where did she come up with the name at Chickadee Needlework? I was always intrigued by how people come up with their small business names. So her daughter's name is Charlie. She lives in Minnesota with her husband and daughter, and her daughter's name is Charlie. And when Charlie was little, she would be outside in the backyard, and the chickadees would be calling, and they would tell her, because she was intrigued by them, and they would tell her that they were calling, hi, Charlie, hi, Charlie. So all along so growing up the the chickadees are called charlie birds in their little family so to pay homage to her daughter charlie she used the word chickadee needlework as the name of her business okay so let's dig into what she's got some fantastic modern cross stitch this is not the things that you're going to see traditionally but what drew me to her immediately was her listen i found her cardinals um and this one is super sweet this is a sweet little christmas ornament pattern that looks like a vintage ball a vintage ornament but it's made up of a mirror image of cardinals how sweet is that and as you can tell, she gives you, she shows you that her chart is in color, in symbols, and in color. So it's super easy to read, which I very much appreciate. And then you come back and you look at, so she's got a lot. She's got over 70 patterns in her Etsy shop. Little something for everyone. She likes lots of birds. You can tell she's got 19 different bird patterns. The cardinals, the chickadees are very popular. Look at these sweet little um, nut hat. So many blue birds, blue jays, goldfinch. She loves her birds. Look at this little finch blue, this 
finch. Oh, a little, little chart with the birds. That's so sweet. Maybe you have someone who's like a super bird watcher. But then her other love is dogs. So she's got these so many sweet. Look at this Boston Terrier. I mean, the face on that is adorable. And, of course, you know that Tiger Lily is going to love this tiger cross-stitch pattern. You can tell I've already got it hearted in my shop. Um, I'll probably put a little tiger twist on it, maybe orange and purple. Maybe that'll be Noah's little something. for. That's going to take me a while. It's a, it's a big girl or boy. I don't know. So let's see. How do I get back? Okay. So then she's, she's got both animals, birds, but then some fantastic mountainscapes. So she's got this San Francisco scape, which is super adorable. She also has this snow globe, which, spoiler alert, keep this one in your memory because later on in Stitchmas, I have a snow globe finishing piece coming that is just, this might be perfect for it. I'll have to figure out if the sizing works. She also has these very cute modern landscape kind of mountains. She's got a series of mountains. Such fun. So like I said, she's got over 70 patterns. Oh, look at this sweet little border collie, the beagle face. I need a Dabo face. I don't think we have one yet, but oh my goodness, how sweet is that? I, I mean, I just love, it looks very Aztec, Arizona-y. I don't know, but I just, it's so sweet. Oh, and look at that. No, not the Nintendo. The Nintendo's cute. Not my jam. But here's all the mountains and the moon. I love this. Full coverage, fill in. It's just a little different twist than what we normally have seen. So maybe there's a little bit of these dogs. I love them. Um, so oh, look at this Halloween. I know we're in Christmas. <gasps> look at that cute little skull on the bird on this cloche thing. Oh, adorable. So Allie has generously donated to our um, daily giveaway. You get to choose whichever pattern speaks to you if you win the prize today. You get to choose your pattern as well as the grand prize. Pat grand prize also gets to choose their, has their choice of a PDF pattern out of any of her 70 designs. But if you don't want to wait to see if you win, Allie has generously given us a coupon code exclusive for our Stitch Mitch viewers. So you get 25% off. Most of all of her charts, I think, are $3.95. I mean, that's crazy. $3.95, then you get to get 25% off. So it's less than $3 for a pattern. And I'm telling you, the amount of work that goes into these things, bonkers. So you use the code STITCHMISS25, no space, and you'll get 25% off your purchase. So Allie would love, I would love for you to, maybe you found something that speaks to you or speaks to somebody you want to stitch for. Wasn't that fantastic? So many gorgeous patterns, hopefully, and they're so priced fantastic hopefully there was something that you loved you found something you needed to add to cart don't forget to use that coupon code that she jo so generously gave to our viewers and subscribers to use to grab yourself one of those pdf charts pull from stash and get the stitch in today if you do tag me in instagram i would love to see what you are stitching Okay, so that is the cross stitch designer. Remember, you want to use the word jingle and stitch in your comment down below if you want to win one of the PDFs that she is so generously given, and you get to choose whichever one you want. Today's yarn dyer is an indie dyer named Mary from Asheville, North Carolina. I'm super excited. She's got a great story. So like I said, she's her name is Mary. She lives down in Asheville, North Carolina. She is new-ish. New more than me then, but she started knitting in 2018, got the bug, loved the knitting. And of course, sometimes your journey just takes you down a different road. So what she decided in 2019, later on in 2019, is she was knitting and loving and all the things that meditative was helping her metal, mental health. As we all know that you just need to decompress and it's knitting is perfect as well as stitching. Whatever makes your heart sing regarding, um, you know, calming down and slowing down and doing the things. So in April, in 2019, she was like, I need to die because you just get addicted 
and she loved the colors. And so she loved her colors. And um, so she started dying in 2019 and the rest is history. So she, her plant, the business is plants and knits. And that's inspired by her love of plants and the outdoors. And you can tell by the name of how she names her yarns. It's all inspired by outdoors. But here we're going to go ahead and give you a walkthrough of her shop and her online presence. Show you some of the things and then we'll come back and look at the squishy yarns in person. First, we're going to start off on Mary's Instagram page. It is plants.and.knits on Instagram. I'm sure she would love for you to come over and give her a follow, and you can get inspired by these yummy yarns. She shows you some of her artisan markets. She's going to markets in her town and the dying behind us behind the scenes some of her yummy yarns, and then, of course, the best thing is she shows you finished products with some of her yarns, which I'm always inspired by. Look at these socks, and more importantly, hold on, there's a sweater. Look at this cardigan sweater. So cute. Her Leia cardigan by Hooked Mountain Handmade is so cute. So I love inspiration by Indie Yarn Dyers. They have such fun pages. So, but where can you get some of her yummy yarns. You've got two choices. She does have an Etsy shop, which is where she started. A lot of the small micers start on Etsy, and that makes sense. It makes it easy. But Etsy is taking so many of the fees. Their fees are getting crazy, and I understand. Um, but if you're comfortable with Etsy, shop there. She's got all of her yarns on Etsy. But if you're more comfortable or if you are comfortable, she also has her own website that I will link down below. And so you come to her shop, and um, she gives you a little bit of a price break if you buy on her shop because she's not having to cover those Etsy fees. Um, she's got gorgeous, gorgeous yarns. Not too many because, like I said, she just started. But look at this gorgeous one. And everything is linked or it's about a plant. You know, it's kind of inspired by, you can tell by the names, Whispering Pines, Ironweed, Mountain Mist, Mount Mitchell. She's very much inspired by the outdoors and the colors of nature. Um, but, but this one just pulled at my heartstrings. This color is called Sadie, and she has a story. It says her maternal grandmother loved cardinals, loved cardinals, and she always kept a bird bath in her yard. This colorway is soft and bright red tones, speckles of browns and plum. It's to honor her memory. This red cardinal just screams Christmas, Valentine's, winter, like all the, I love it so much. So in, within her colorways, all the colors that she offers, you have the option of worsted weight, DK weight, or fingering weight, and you just choose which one it works best for the project that you want to do. Mountain Mist, this yummy blue, oh my goodness, I love, inspired by the Blue Ridge Mountains. At early dusk, her morning is near dusk, light falls, and it emphasizes the teal tones. I, her... The attention to detail and the stories behind her colorways, I love them so much. She's inspired. She tells you, like, how did I come up with this story? Creek moss, sky mossy blue, I love it. So some of them you can get in all the colorways. Some of them are only in select colorways. But if you see a colorway you like and it's not option, it's you don't want DK weight, you go to the custom order request and you tell her and you ask for, um, a color, a specific colorway, a specific weight, feel free to contact her and she will make it happen for you. So let's go ahead and look some of these squishy yarns in person. Oh my gosh, wasn't that fantastic? So many different things and I love being able to see the the. Feed. I, listen, I can scroll all day on the on the gram looking at yarn and quilting and stitching and all the yummy, yummy, yummy fiber arts in this world. So without further ado, we're going to dig right into the fantastic squishy yarn that Miss Mary sent us so that we can appreciate some of it in person. She sent us three beautiful skeins um, for me to share with you. So let's just start with one. As I showed you, she's got all the different weights and I think she sent us two different weights to so we can see. So this one, she's calling Equinox. It's worsted weight. And she labels them worsted weight, 100% superwash merino, 218 yards per 100 grams. But look at this yummy color. Now, like I said, I am using my ring light so it is 
blowing it a little brighter than, but it's really, really, really gorgeous. Really gorgeous. The plums and the purples and these teals and browns, they all, they all just play so nice together. And then you're gonna come to potions and spells. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, that is perfect. That is on point color. Thank you very much, if I do say so. This is another worsted waste, 100% super merino. But look at that purples and those mustards. They play so nice. And just the speckle and the variegation in these yarns, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And it's so squishy. It feels so good. I'm a big fan of superwash because of just the feel and the technique. Like, you what against your skin all the things whether it's a hat or a sweater or a cowl or a scarf or mittens or all the things it's going to be perfect and then the last one she sent us which i think we looked at online is called mount mitchell this is her dk weight 100 percent super wash and it's 231 but look at those gorgeous so here we've got the teals and the mustards and the browns so lovely again so squishable so the variegation and the movement in the colors is fantastic so i am so thankful for miss mary sharing this and so today what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead with the equinox in the grand prize box so remember don't forget to fill out your crossword puzzle if you're excited to win that grand prize as well as Potion and Spells is going to be today's daily giveaway. So if you are excited to knit up or crochet up with this gorgeous purple and mustard and these ah, yummy colors, don't forget to use the word jingle and knit in your comment down below. So that is what we have today, friends. Day three. I hope you found something you loved. I hope you got some good stitching time in and we shall see you tomorrow. Happy Stitchmas! Thank you.